Hello, darkness, my old friend. It's time to talk with you again. Give it a moment for people to join me. Well, hello everyone. I trust this evening finds you well. <laughs> Slinger man. Oh dang, a drunk Scotsman about to play a scary. This will be good. Yeah, I'm just waiting for more people to come in. So this is part four. Welcome to part four of my Resident Evil remake playthrough. It's been an absolute blast so far, and I think the end is in sight. So my intention is tonight, we've got to get down into the lab, and we've got to fight the tyrant, and we've got to get the hell out of here. Good evening, Duncan Southern. Pleased to see you here. Paul Schlock says 24-hour stream. <laughs> what do you think I am, Mauler? Thing is, I wouldn't be able to make this last 24 hours. It's not that big of a game. But, uh, well, I have been going pretty slowly so far, so we'll see how well it goes. Alright, I think we've got enough people in here now. I could probably just get going. Uh, oh god, someone sent me a super chat already. Hidden R of Can gave me a good luck super sticker. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. I might need it. Alright, so, we've got one stone and metal object. I'm pretty sure we need to go collect the other one. And... Then we're going to go into the underground caverns beneath the mansion. So, let's make that happen. <laughs> go over by it, says. Broke 89 necks as hunk today. <laughs> Good man. Oh, I'll take you. Never know when you might need a herb. That's good advice for life, that is. Alright, let's go. Do we have any zombies lurking around here? I don't know. There might be something. Mr. Brown Alliance. Evening, my friend. I don't want to waste a coat round on that thing. Let's just see if we can get him. There we go. So good when that happens. Well, I'm weaving like a drunken sailor here. Uh, Darren Coyle saying, has the ghoul and change crapped me on the napper yet? Yes, she has. Oh. Look oh, at this fine chap here. Yeah, so this is later in the game. Unfortunately. I'm going to see if I can just run around him, actually. Rip. Now, do I need anything from over here? Excuse me, big lad. I can't remember if there's a thing I need to collect from this one. No, I don't think there is. Wait until you get and come and get me. Come on, you can do it. Oh yeah, there we go. Systematic says greetings from Spain, drinker. Thank you, man. Hope things are lovely in Spain right now. Uh, I, c what's this? Uh, I can't deny realities giving me a number one fan super sticker. Thank you, my friend. And Bob B Boy Corrosive says, Anyway, Resident Evil is all I've got for today. Go away now. What more can I say to that? Alright, up we go. Gotta get back into the mansion so we can go underground. Yeah, I think this is where we need to go. Oh, someone wants me to do an interstellar review. I could indeed. An excellent... Oh, is there something there? Yeah. An excellent movie, somewhat ruined by a bit of a crap ending. No, I don't think there's anything else I need here, but I might grab that first aid spray, which 
I can't quite see because all of the the chat window is slightly blocking it, so I'm just going to fumble around here until I get it. There we go. I will take the first aid spray. Thank you. Uh, all right, here we go. Interstellar did make me weirdly terrified to ever go in space because, man, ah, that's what we need. Our stone and metal object. I will, thank you. That means we can't go back out there, but it doesn't really matter now because we've got everything that we need. Uh, someone was asking me there, when is my short movie expected to come out? So that will probably be summer next year because we are planning to shoot it in the springtime. Obviously, you've got to go into editing, post-production, all that lovely stuff. And uh, yeah, and then release it um, in the summer, late summer probably. It's weird. It makes me feel like weirdly professional, like I'm I'm doing a proper movie here. Oh, shit. Probably want to avoid that. Uh, I think I'll go a different way because I don't want to have to waste all my ammo fighting past these hunters. I'm just going to politely nope out of that one, and we'll go the top way. Uh, horse meat is perfectly correct there. The final encounter with Lisa Trevor is coming up. What an interest can do is avoid her and then try and uh, outmaneuver her. Because um, bullets won't really kill her. All they can do is slow her down temporarily. So it's, it's it's a neat concept for a boss. And she's got like this tragic backstory of being like experimented on and exposed to the, the T-virus and all that stuff. She's one of the best additions, I think. In the original game, they just didn't have the time or the resources to, to do something like that. Or if she was just an idea that came to them later. Either way... They did a good job. Let's get ourselves down here. Okay. Stone and metal object. Use. And the other one. Alright. Yeah, Lisa just wants to be reunited with her mum, so let's give her what she wants. What's this? Ah. Oh. Okay, might be worth saving my progress, actually, just in case I completely fuck up this boss encounter. Because it's me that we're talking about here, and the potential for fuck-ups is never too far away, so it's worth bearing in mind. Let's see. I got ink ribbons here. Blah, 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 blah. Nope, 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 nope. I'm going to be needing those medals soon, though. Ah, there's one. Yeah. <laughs> you can do it! In Rob Schneider's voice. Someone mentioned their damn man sort sort of that item box out. I mean, what do you want me to do? Like, there's uh, it's just stuff that you accumulate in the course of the game. Uh, I could probably actually um, combine all these shotgun shells together just for quality of life, you know. Let's see. I'm pretty sure there's another one here. Is there? No, that could be all I've got there on the shotgun front. Let's just check, see if there's anything up here. Nah, that's all we got. The grenade launcher, probably not going to be much use here. Uh, I might actually take the the wolf meadow. Uh, yeah. And the eagle meadow. And then I don't have to come back here. That should do us. Alright. Let's go. And we'll clip the old python. This isn't ominous at all. 
Uh, Mr. Brown's asking me, is the new Modern Modern Warfare any good? I don't know, because I've had it delivered a couple of days ago, installed it, and it's all ready to go, but I wanted to complete this first. I wanted an element of completion in my life. So I'm going to do that, um, and then get on to playing Modern Warfare 2. I'm looking forward to it. Oh, people are saying it's not good. Damn, that's that makes me feel worried. Go, Jill. Jiggle your way over there. Alright, is there anything here I need to be getting? Mm, I don't think so. There's no items here glimmering or anything like that, so I guess we just head down. Ah! It's mysterious Jill, Barry. You're alive. No shit, Barry. I was worried because I, <laughs> I like how there's just skeletons hanging in the background. Because you know, of course there are. Start talking. Calm down. I didn't want to Damn. Believe me. I can Jill's taking no prisoners Don't here. Lie to me. My gun's about twice the size of her. Hmm. There's a problem to deal with. Looking good, Lisa. Well, that's just uncalled for, you know. So's that. Who no closed that gate? Talk. Don't know. Jill, hand me my gun. We should give the gun back to Barry. Thanks, Jill. Because otherwise you'll die, and we don't want that to happen. So, all right, let's get pushing. This is where we got a... When the curse of the chains has been broken, the path of truth will appear. Okay. So we need to try and get around her. Alright, that'll do it. What we don't want is for Barry to get knocked off the edge here. Yeah, last one here. Let's see if we can get this off. Yeah, come on. Push it, Jill. Push it. All right. <laughs> Bye then. <laughs> she just noped right out of this situation. I always thought, right, imagine being an employee at the Spencer Mansion, the Spencer Estate, and, like, not only have you got to contend with a work environment that's full of, like, deadly traps and weird puzzles just to, like, move around the house, but, like, Lisa Trevor's just wandering about and she might randomly kill you. Aw, oh, family picture. It's a letter. To my Lisa, day by day I can feel my consciousness drifting further away. The shots given to me by men in white clothes made some of mummies itching go away. Today they gave me another shot saying it was nutrition. When they give me the shots, mommy can think straight, but mommy's shocked and sad because mommy's unable to think of you. She's afraid, afraid of forgetting everything, especially the memories of you and daddy. And especially when daddy started drinking. What your faces look like, how we used to be together. They're all starting to disappear into somewhere dark in my mind. Oh, Lisa, I wish I could touch your face and hold you in my arms so that I can hold on to our wonderful memories of you and daddy. Lisa, we can't here stay any longer. We have to escape. Oh, fucking hell. This goes on forever. Uh, okay, so I guess that didn't work out and she didn't escape. Never mind. What can you do? Barry, how's it going? I don't believe that thing's really dead. Leave this place up to me and go on ahead. Okay. Well, that whole betrayal thing got resolved pretty easily. Uh, never mind. Uh, yeah, someone said as well in chat, I bet the employees here don't even get health benefits. No, <laughs> health insurance would be a nightmare in this place. Uh, also, the one-eyed cleft guy says, I finally watched Resident Evil 4 Remake trailer. I think I'm excited for this game as I was for the original 18 years ago. Well, good on you, man. I hope it lives up to your expectations. Up we go. Someone is asking me as well if I'm drinking tonight. I am. I've got a lovely bottle of Old Putney whiskey, and it's just... Hits the spot perfectly. Excuse me while I pour myself another glass, actually. Mm. 
Ah, better. All right, let's go. All right, that looks like a fountain. Wolf shaped. Well, seems like our situation is clear. We need the wolf one. Man, this puzzle had me stumped for fucking ages when I was a kid, when I played the original game. Like, the very first Resident Evil, because I didn't know that you could open books up and stuff, and so I couldn't find the wolf and eagle medals inside the books, and so I didn't realise what I was missing. Yes, I was pretty dumb back then, as it turns out. I said this before, right? It's a real shame that they have upscaled all the backgrounds and everything to HD so they look properly nice, but like when it comes to the, the cutscenes, they've left them low res. It's just so jarring, like they look like ass. Alright, let's go down. The only Warnley says, why are you drinking furniture polish? Fuck you, this whiskey's lovely. And I'll not hear a bad word said about it. So this is the emergency escape area. We can't go this way. It only opens in the case of a first class emergency. None of your second class nonsense. Alright. You should pick up that. There's an ink ribbon right in front of you, goddammit. Look, what do you want? Pick it up. There you go. I will take the ink ribbon, thank you. So, shouldn't really need the coat python for now. What I'll do is I'll take the shotgun shells and... Yeah, ditch this actually. And... Do I want to save my progress here? No harm in doing it, I suppose. See, I find myself saving my progress quite a bit on this because I had a bad experience the other night when I was playing this. Well, then I'll tell you in a second when I'm done saving this. <laughs> yeah, I started playing the game and then immediately, well, not immediately, about 15 minutes into it, got squished by a trap. And that was the end of that, so I had to, like, go back again to my previous save, and I hadn't done it for a while, so it lost a lot of progress, and that was that was most aggravating. All right, this will do for now. Let's get the shotgun out. Let's go. See what lovely secrets we can find here. It's like there's a zombie in here. There he is. He's in a nice lab coat. Very fetching. Second time lucky. You gonna come this way or what? There he is. Here. Yes, we need this fella. Because we need, I think, three MO discs if we're going to free Chris from his imprisonment. So we don't want to leave any behind because if you miss them, that's it. You're fucked. remember which direction I need to go from here but I just head down and try every door see what I can do oh, what we got I probably don't need any more first aid sprays or anything because I got a lot going on here Ok, 
Okay. I think we need to put some photographs up. David Clark. Or Clark David. Clark David, okay. And... Any other ones here? Oh, I see something glimmering over there. Right, memo on the board. Right, there's something scrawled on the notepad. To use the electronic door, please place the initials in alphabetical order. Okay, fine. Alright, let's see if we've got them in the right order. Ed. Yeah. So, Alex. Clark. Uh, Ed. And what's the one at the end? Gale. Right, so that's in alphabetical order. Okay. Okay, Ada! Yay, we remember her, don't we? And as I suspected, his test came back positive. <laughs> We've all been there, mate. <laughs> I'm teetering on the edge of reason, yep. Uh, right. Okay, so activate the self-destruct system in the power room and escape from here. Please do everything in your power to make this whole accident public. If everything is run normally... Okay. Set up the terminus most so you can log in using my name and your name as the password, so Ada's the password. So you'll need another password to release the lock in the basement level 2 where the visual data room is located. Uh, right. Okay, so it's hidden in the x-ray. Okay. Okay, so his name is John. So keep that in mind. John, Ada, yes. Okay, what have we got here? Our face glowing red, okay. Okay, so that's like <laughs> the rectum? Right. Okay, so the bottom bit, that's the colon. And then on this one, it's that tube thing going down? No. So that would be the esophagus. And then, right, it's that big thing off to the left. So that is the liver and the last one is the two big things which is the lungs at the top okay so it's c e l l that's our password all right lovely matthew says 10 10 dollars spot on for you just to spite Az since he's game streaming at the same time. Oh no! Uh, he gets insulted just because I said his in-game wife cheated on him so touchy. <laughs> well, you don't have to worry about that in this game. There ain't no in-game wives on this one. Okay, so our password is Cell. Right, we're on it. Right, is there anything at this end that we need to be aware of? Oh, well, there's another door here. It's locked. Okay, fine. Right, electronic locks. Right. Okay, so we're going to have to use the MO discs later on and get that done. So, lovely. We need to get to the computer so that we can disable the electronic locks. Oh, hi. Don't mind me, I'm just passing through. 
Yeah, I love how like funky the lab looks now. It like in the original game, it was like this really pristine environment, um, you know, all like bare concrete and stuff. It was like really clean. Uh, here, it's just like a fucking medieval torture dungeon. It's unbelievable. Right, there's some magnum bullets there, so I definitely want them. Yes, thank you. What we got here? V act. Uh, the body goes into dormant stages. Right. Okay. V acts. That could be the the chimera things. <laughs> well, look at this funky computer. All right. The login. So that was John, if memory serves. And the password. I love this. It's like being a kid in high school again, the shitty computers we had back then. Ooh. Right. So, right, we need the additional password, and that was cell. Colon, esophagus, lungs, and liver. Yay! Nice. So we can now get into the visual data room upstairs. And we also need to unlock that. Right, which room is that? Uh, oh, okay, that was the one in the corridor that I just came from, so... Lovely beans. Alright. 1990s technology, you gotta love it. What's in here? Ooh, dead bodies. Lovely. Keep them for later. <laughs> I'll take you. Was there something else here? I think there is. No. Ah. Cadavers are frozen. Put them in a body bag. Yeah! Okay, I think we've got everything we need out of this room. Let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Mr. Brown Alliance, colon, uterus, nail, testicle. <laughs> you know, it's a funny thing as well, right? I remember in the original game, these there was like these naked zombies wandering about the lab in this area, and it didn't matter how many times you killed them, they always seemed to come back. They like regenerated somehow. It's an odd one. Don't know if it was a bug in the game or if they were always meant to be like that. That doesn't sound promising. I will take the slide filter, thank you. Oh, yes. I see some flame rounds there. Don't mind if I do. Let's just see what's around here first. Oh, hi. <laughs> So, like, how's your day going? <laughs> nice jaws moving and everything. It's cool. It's quite well animated. Oh, right. He's still going. Man, I've got to respect him. There we go. Facts. Okay, I can't be bothered reading all of this. If you're, re if you're replaying this stream, you can always pause that bit and, and soak up the atmosphere. Yes! I think I do have an MO disc. It's weird, the system probably should have recognized that I had one on me, but never mind. Okay, one down, two to go. To make sure we don't miss any of these MO discs. We've only got two so far. Keep that in mind. We need a third one. Yes, let's see what's in here. Fuel may explode if shaken or jarred. Okay. Right. Okay, well, we don't have anything to put in that yet. I don't think there's anything else over here. 
And what we'll do is we'll take ourselves some of this. Yeah, because these things, as I recall, are really useful against the Chimera. Which are a real pain in the arse when you have to fight them in the power room. Um, Artur Kulikov says, I love your content, drinker. My favorite channel after work. Cheers, my friend. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Glad I can give you a little bit of entertainment. And if nothing else, you can watch these streams and laugh at my ineptitude. Uh, someone mentioned I missed the ink ribbon there. I did, yeah. I also missed the first aid spray, but I don't need it because I've got loads of that stuff. That's the eternal conundrum with Resident Evil, you see. Do you, do you travel light or do you try and pick up everything and waste a lot of time? It's tricky. There's no right or wrong answers to it. It just depends how you want to play. That looks like something over there. Could that possibly be the third MO disc? Yeah. I'm going to have you. And then I'm going to have my way with you. Oh, yes. What's that? Right, let's see. Their, their corporate sponsorship here. Umbrella, Bio Organic Weapon Official Report. Doggo. Yep, they caused me a few problems, not going to lie. Neptune, yeah, <laughs> he's history. The Hunter, yeah, they were fun. But short-lived. And Siren, hmm, haven't seen him yet. Reverend Bernfried Axewielder says, Drinker, caught you live, awesome. Like, you're pleased that your um, badass voice fits this game. Now, who looks familiar here? There's a guy in sunglasses. 8462. I'll keep that in mind. Right. Do we have anything in here that we need to grab? It looks like there's some shotgun shells there. Yeah, I'm going to have you. Why do I feel like there's a another little section there? Let's check the map. What am I missing? Oh, yeah, there's something in here. Is that something here? Yes. Uh, well, it was 8462 that was on it. Well, what do you know? Who could have predicted that? Oh, yeah, I'll take you as well. Lab key, yes. <laughs> oh, God, yeah. <laughs> Kenneth's film. All right, guys, guys, are we ready? Are we ready to watch Kenneth's film from, like, the very start of the game? <laughs> okay. Brace yourselves. Let's go. <laughs> God damn. I mean, you know, he went out like a boss did Kevin. <laughs> I love his reaction as well. It's like, ah, get away from me. <laughs> Crazy ass motherfucker. No, I don't want to view the film a second time. I feel like there was a passcode entry machine there as well, but apparently not. All right, I think we got everything that we need here. Uh... Anything else kicking around? Nah. Uh, do I have enough space to take that with me? No, I'm all maxed out. So I'm just going to have to leave that first aid spray behind. Let's examine this, see what it is. Looks like the power room. All right, our task is clear, gentlemen. Let's move on.
That guy's gonna come back as a crimson head pretty soon. I can feel it in my water. <laughs> King Invader says Umbrella's got some cool looking keys. They really do. I like that. Oh, hello you. What have you got to offer me today? I could try and sneak past them, but it's kind of satisfying to just blast them, you know? Look at this. Imagine if this was your work environment. I mean, Jesus Christ. Alright, can I get in there? I don't think I can, but I'll try the key. Oh, apparently I can, yeah. Let's take a look. I hear something moving around in here. Alright, I'll have you. Shotgun shells, yeah. What else is in here? Is this it? Is there nothing else? Let's check the map. I feel like there's, there should be a way to get to the other side of this, whatever it is. Eh. Let's try climbing up here. What am I pointing at here? What is that thing? I kind of wish I had. Normally, you don't see them outside the power room, so. Okay. There's one. Alright. Let's see what we can find in here. Oh, damn. Mind me. Oh, alright, yeah, yeah, I get it. I've got to climb up here and go out the other side. What was the point in that? I don't get it. Must be something more interesting in here than that. Alright, oh, yep. Yeah. No. I'm totally missing something clearly. Hmm. Is it this one? <laughs> Fireman says, getting paid to watch this at work. Loving the night shift, as you should. <laughs> Try and make your shift work worth it, man. Uh, all right. Nah, nothing, nothing really going on here. I don't know what I'm supposed to be grabbing. Maybe there isn't anything. Bit disappointing then. Can't get out here. We just have to leave this section behind, I suppose. Yeah. Well, I, I, I had a pretty good look around. There doesn't seem to be anything going on. Bug it. come back to that area shortly. For the meantime though, let's go in here. Yes, I will discard that key if there's no further use for it. 
in we go. Someone's asking, was that room in the OG Killzone ISA? Yeah, it was. Oh. Uh, Although I can't remember what was in it. Can we get in there? I think we can. I believe in us. Right, time to get rid of some stuff. We'll put some of this away. Okay, I'm going to take some incendiary shells and the bazooka. If I can find it. There it is. Uh, and get rid of that and that. Take the ammo discs. Well, yeah, we might need both of them. Leave that there as well. Okay. We also want rid of them. Is there anything else here that's useful? No. I'll keep the explosive ones just in case all goes wrong. Right, save my game here as well since I... Ooh, hello you! Might as well take them, you know, be rude not to. The ink ribbon, yes, and probably save my game since I got the opportunity. Jesse Sledge says, I did Dark Harvest to my audio library. Thank you very much, appreciate it. While the game's saving, I'm just gonna top up my drink. Why not? All right, ready, Jill. Equip that and dump. No, let's get rid of the shotgun shells for now. And that. Okay, so we need to use both ammo discs. Someone's asking me what I'm drinking. I am on Old Putney whiskey. Good stuff and I like it. Alright, let's see if we can remember what we need to do here. Uh, son of a bitch. Get off, asshole. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, I remember this. Okay. It's not working right now because there's no fuel. There's an empty capsule. Right. This reminds me. So I need to take this, go back to that room on the other side of the map, and refuel it. Let's go. So basically, once I get it, I can't run with it because it might cause me to explode and that would be bad for everyone. Is there anything else I need to look for here? Hmm. Don't think so. Okay. off you. Burn! Okay. 
<laughs> Someone's saying, your drinker asked Mr. H about a boxing match and he says he's into it. Uh, that's good. <laughs> like... <laughs> Fuel this fill up. Use. Oh. Okay. All right. Fuel me up, baby. Running could result in a fatal explosion. So we got to take this slow and steady. Let's check. There's not a. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've used the passcode device there, so that's all good. I don't know if it's a percentage thing, so like if you run, you've got like a percentage chance of blowing up. Uh, Irvin Turner says, your drinker, have you played the Dead Space games? Not enough. Nowhere near enough, actually, and it's a shame because apparently it's, uh, yeah, it's kind of like Resident Evil in space, really. Nice and creepy. But are they not doing a remaster of them or something? So, uh, I probably could play them when they come out. Um, get the, the nice up-to-date versions and uh, hopefully they do a good job with it when I get to play it. Uh, there is also a super chat from Adam Birch who says, Drinker, I loved all your Resident Evil reviews, but I would love to hear your thoughts on Silent Hill, especially 2, as it's been remade. Any chance? I would love to do that, yeah. I think, especially like when Silent Hill 2 comes out, it'd be a good chance to replay it. But yeah, I mean, what can I, what can I say about Silent Hill 2 that's not been said already? It's really good. This Bishwaz Baskar says, who wants to see the drinker play Elden Ring? Oh, fuck no. Jesus. That'll end me, that one. Let's check where we need to go here. Uh, okay. I'm pretty sure there's a passcode machine in here as well, so let's just... Oh, I've got to go slow. It's quite a clever little mechanic, this, actually. Making us... Oh. Yeah. There's that. <laughs> Okay, so apparently you can't use the bazooka. That's a problem. I'll have to switch to shotgun. <laughs> yeah, it's like drinker, drinker committed self death. Yeah, so, okay, apparently you cannot do that. You have to, uh, I guess I'll need to use the shotgun or something. Okay. Let's get rid of this. And apparently this, because I can't use it. So it's going to have to be shotguns all round, baby. All right, lesson learned, ladies and gentlemen. Don't fight, don't fuck around with nitrous compounds. Uh, Big Dave Case says, hey, Critical Drinker, I sent an email with another voice line. Okay, yeah, I got that email, and I will do that voice that you were looking for, um, that audio recording. It's a bit more of the hyena animation, obviously. Oh, fuck off. There's basically no way to avoid that thing. It's just always going to grab you. Right. Yeah, okay. Take the capsule. Right. 
Right, let's go get it. Okay, let's try that one again. No. No means no! Clueless dead gamer is asking me if I've ever done VR. Yeah, but it usually results in violent um, vomiting and diarrhea. It's, uh, yeah, <laughs> my brain just doesn't cope well with VR, unfortunately. I remember I was, in a sta oh, I was on a stag do, right, in, in Glasgow, and part of it was like, we're going to do like a VR racing experience, so you're all kind of strapped into these... Uh, yep, set the capsule in, and um, yeah, you could do like Formula One racing and all that good stuff, which is great. But like, basically, half the guys on the in the group were fucking incapacitated after like an hour of it. Uh, I was feeling rough as fuck. Oh, I just realised I probably shouldn't run there. Um, and yeah, like it took hours to recover from it, and that's not even with any alcohol involved. So damn, yeah, it just doesn't go down well. Okay. Alan Kennedy's asking me if I've ever seen a movie called Dog Soldiers. Funny you should ask that, because I've done like a full review of it, and I've even done an interview with the director. So that was great. Neil Marshall, really nice guy. Alright, slowly does it. Yeah, General Krang, you are right. I did a video on it. It's a really old video, actually. It's before I was properly drunk and, and drinkified. Now, the question is... Do we put the refueling device back where I got it from, or do I have to take it to a different location? I'll try putting it back where I got it. Yeah, people talking about Dog Soldiers. That was a great, great movie. The dialogue was spot on. Uh, the Omega Man edit says, In Resident Evil, the bugs eat you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Blunt Philly reviews. This series has been great. Cheers, mate. Uh, hey, Drinker, have you ever seen a movie called Dog Soldiers? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, just keep asking me about it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's see. It. We'll try putting it back where it came from and just see what happens, I guess. I'm just going to keep shooting you. Alright, slow and steady, Jill. Hopefully we put it back where it comes from. Okay, capsule's in. Alright. Good. Now what? So the room now has power, and I can move, which is nice. Okay, Center Field says, just watch the Creep review. Yeah, I like that movie. That was nice and creepy. All right, let's check the map, get the lay of the land here. I think there is a Pasco machine right ahead. <laughs> Don't mind me while well, I just use this thing. Uh, son of a... Right, time to use the self defense device. Right. Use. All right, we're all good now. Okay, so that's two of them down. Hmm. 
Nice. Last one. Fuck off, you. Alright, now we're in the power room. Let's see what we got to do here. Uh, also, Jay Ritzy says, by the time you read this, you'll have already read it. That is true. I can't deny the logic of that one. You're a smart guy. Yes. Start it up. Excuse me. Yeah, I'm in through. Oh, shit. Self-destructs mechanism. It's huge. Ah, oh, fuck off. Vladimir Taylor says, Drinker, I will never forgive you for what happened to Mason. His redemptive arc made him my favorite character, and now, well, you made my black heart feel something momentarily. Have a drink for me. Ah, oh, thanks, man, yeah. Uh, it's nice to see Mason getting a bit of love from my books. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, I like that character, actually. Um, originally, he was just going to be in Redemption and then get written out of it, but I really wanted to, you know... After a couple of books, I thought it'd be kind of cool to bring him back, give him another chance, you know? And he, he did. And yeah, it's sad what happened to him, but there it goes. Life's not always forgiving. Okay. So I need to find the last passcode machine. Because I got one more to use. Where do we use it, though? Anyone got any ideas? I'm willing to entertain anything. Anything. Alright, it was in the area where you crawl through the vents. Well, okay, let's try it. Alright, what am I missing with these vents? That's what I'm wondering. Vents, vents, vents! We are in the room with events. So let's see what we can discover here. Is there anything around here? Nope. No. Okay. Can we climb up? Ah, wait. I got an idea. I got an idea. I don't push that shelf. Okay. Then we'll go along here. Nothing in this section. Okay. All right, let's try pushing this the other way. No, it won't go. Okay. Someone's asking, where's Tofu? Well, that is a good question. Ah, there it is. Okay. I don't know how I missed that before. Dumb as fuck. That's the problem. Uh, Cody Collins says, Drinker, what do you think of the survival horror game set in Marvel World where you're a lone survivor in an NYC overrun by symbiotes? I wish I, I knew more about that. That sounds good. All right. Okay. All three doors unlocked. Lovely stuff. And here we are. Anything in here? No. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, looks like we have to go downstairs now. To the Tyrant Lab. That's where all the good stuff happens. Uh, let's go back through here. Oh, right. No, I have to go the other way. <laughs> this one. Yeah, people are talking about All Quiet on the Western Front, so I haven't seen it yet. The trailer made it look great, but have we been hoodwinked, sir? Is it actually shit? Should we go see Chris? What do you reckon? Press Y in chat if we should go see Chris before we do the tyrant fight. Oh, wait. 
Yes, 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 yes. Okay, <laughs> let's go then. Let's go see him, see how he's doing. Have a little chat. Oh, actually. I'm gonna this in this case, I'm actually gonna take that first aid thing. Cause I'm all out. Right, let's see if we can open it. Oh, you're actually gonna make me pull each one individually. Uh okay. Last one. Yay. All right. Let's go and see Mr. Boulder Puncher himself. Oh, yeah. <laughs> bounce, 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 bounce. Sorry, I'm immature as fuck. Ooh, that doesn't look good. Jill? It'd be funny if he was lying on the bed having a little chug there. Of course I'm alive. Jill, there's something big going down, and I don't think we're part of the equation. My god, he's, does he ever blink? <laughs> he's just like staring fixedly at her. Oh no! Wait, I'll be back to get you out. Okay. No sightseeing though. Okay. That sounds like a plan that we should do, Chris. Uh, Xanthippus says, What about a Marvel survival horror game where you must hide from Captain Plank? It'll be harder than Elden Ring, I reckon. Yeah, that actually sounds terrifying. Um, yeah, having to hide from Captain Marvel and her amazing acting ability. I tell you, man, I cannot wait for the Marvels to come out. That movie is going to get fucking annihilated. Any and everything says, hell yeah, I got on a live stream. You did, and I spotted your comments, so thank you. Glad you could join us for this. We're, we're coming to the ends. This is this has been a long journey. This has been several hours of gaming that we did to get to this point, so it's exciting stuff. We'll save it, and then we'll go down, fight the tyrant, and away we go. Gunstar Gizmo says Chris has got no eyelids. <laughs> Sekiro's blades say it still looks great. It does. That's the thing. I mean, they've upscaled the backgrounds and stuff to make it HD, but man, like they're just working with what they had already. I think for this fight, we're going to need the Magnum and a whole bunch of bullets. That should allow us to take on the Tyrant. Any other... Magnum rounds. Thought I had more than that, actually. Take some first aid sprays as well. And let me grab an ink ribbon so I can save my game here. Yeah, people were saying in chat as well, the fact that this game came out in 2002 on the GameCube is mind-blowing. It really is. Like, it's just, it's impressive as fuck. Like, the graphics look great. They, uh, yeah, they just absolutely nailed it with this one. Uh, that's got to be more than enough to take on the Tyrant. Right, I'll get this out. There we go. All right, let's do this. Um, yeah, yeah, I mean, I, I think this game, it didn't sell particularly well on the GameCube because as a system, it just wasn't, it wasn't connecting with people. It wasn't cool like the PlayStation. It didn't have like, um, you know, any sort of real graphical muscle like the GameCube. Um, it was just still very much a kiddies kind of console. It even looked kind of childish. Um, Jill, 
But then they, they wanted to disprove that by doing this exclusive deal with Capcom to do some Resident Evil games on it. So you had this and you had Resident Evil Zero um, in this lovely like pre-rendered background style. And it was great. Um, but it wasn't enough to save the console, sadly. But uh, yeah, real shame. But at least it got ported to other systems eventually, so it was all good. Callum Hughes says, what console are you playing this game on? So I'm on a PS5 right now. I'm sure it would have worked just to, just as well on a PS4, but uh, the 5 is is pretty damn good, and I'm looking forward to playing Modern Warfare 2 on it. I might stream a bit of that, doing the, the campaign mode. Um, Arthur Kulikov says, Drinker, your thoughts on the Resident Evil 4 remake? I'm personally looking forward to it. I can't count how many times I was cut down by the Chainsaw Kai during survival mode. Cheers, brother. Thanks, man. Yeah, I'll definitely be playing it. RE4 is not my favorite in the series, but uh, it's it's definitely a great like survival action game. So, yeah. I will definitely be playing it. Well, you I'm going to shut up for this cutscene because it's so cinematic. You'll be free of all this anyway. Why eliminate stars? Believe it or not, that's Umbrella's intention. <laughs> You're just a slave of Umbrella. Smart girl, but I think you misunderstand me. The things you mention are nothing. I'll burn all of them along with this entire laboratory. Barry, go up on the ground and wait there. Damn, Whiskers a cool motherfucker. You Look at his gun. Barry. It's like silver plated. Be afraid of umbrella. How cool is that? And umbrella took his family. You bastard. Oh. Whoa! Hitting women. Umbrella. That is, well, that is rough stuff, Wesker. And sticks to cow him, but it had nothing to do with umbrella. I just used Barry for my personal interests. Though both you and Barry seem to think I was following Umbrella's orders. What? What are you planning? I guess it's time for show and tell. <laughs> show me mine, Jill. Show me yours, Jill, and I'll show you mine. I would genuinely love to know what Wesker's thought process was here. Uh, I'm just going to let this monstrous, uh, uncontrollable creature out of its tank and just assume that it goes for Jill. Yeah. Paul Atreides is right here. He says RE4 is cool, but it goes downhill after the village. He's, yeah, he's pretty much right. Um, the it's further that game goes on, the more it devolves into just um, cover-based action shooters. You know, I hate goodbyes. <laughs> Barry, you son of a Barry. bitch. Forgive me. No, you're not <laughs> that was a really it's weird place to pause. Wesker. Forgive uh, family, me. I couldn't bear turning my back on my friends again. Shit! Yeah, I don't know if you guys remember, but they released like a, a DVD called Wesker's Report to coincide with uh, Resident Evil Code Veronica. And it was so good. It was like they had to totally retcon Wesker's backstory for this. Damn it! It's like, yeah, yeah, I knew Tyrant was going to attack me all the time, of course. Jill and Barry, together. In hell. <laughs> In hell. You want a piece of me? Shoot it then, Barry, you dick. What, what are you going to do? Like a fucking, like... Premature. Oh. <laughs> You're gonna do a quick draw with it. What was he doing there? Why did he run no, towards Barry. it? You viral cultured freak. <laughs> oh god bless the dialogue in this game. <laughs> well that was easy. <laughs> Six rounds all it takes. You know, isn't it cool, right? Looking around this lab here. You know, everything that happened in the Resident Evil series, all the crazy action, all the new characters, all the intrigue, all the the conspiracies and the, the web of interlocking plot lines and stuff, it all began right here in this lab with a little virus that escaped containment. Isn't that cool? I like that. This is this is where it all started. Better check if 
Barry Burton's all right. Barry. Uh, you're okay. Uh, Jill. Sorry. That was careless of me. Wesker. He's Chris thirteen oh six says, "Is the recoil accurate Just, on that gun?" I mean, Jill's pretty small, and that gun's pretty big, so I could totally buy that it knocks her backwards. Uh, anything here that we need to look at? I'm gonna see if I, if there's anything here I want to grab. Uh, not really. All right, well, let's get the fuck out of this lab. All right, gentlemen are, well, where's the door? Door, door? Yeah. Uh, okay, do I have to go over to the computer console and unlock it? Let's try it. What am I missing here? Computers? We want to get out. It looks like it does so automatically in case of emergency. Okay. Is there anything around here that I need to use to unlock it? Anything here? Nope. Nothing there. Why are you making me do this? Oh, okay. Why would... <laughs> okay, like, I've killed Tyrant. Like, there's nothing... There's no time constraint or anything to do that. Uh, overview review of All Quiet on the Western Front. Uh, yes, I'm in, interested to watch it. Wesker must have sent it off. Let's hurry. <laughs> Drinkers. Where is the boulder indeed? Who's excited? This is it. This is the final this is the final countdown. Blunt Philly Reviews says Lance Reddick was a poor casting for Wesker, but if you enjoy him as an actor, you'll actually enjoy him as Cedric Daniels in HBO's The Wire. Legend, yes. Uh, I've heard amazing things about The Wire, so uh, yeah, I'm sure Lance is awesome in that. Um, yeah, he's he's a cool actor, really good stuff. Um, he's just, yeah, he's he's not really Albert Wesker, is he? Let's be honest here. Let's go and get Chris and get the. Bunk out of dodge. <laughs> yeah, cartoon man says Barry's just sorry. Uh, yeah, that guy says Barry's just off. Yeah, <laughs> it's like good luck, Jill. I'm out of here. Posh Lock says, why? Because he's bald? Yeah, that's it. That's literally the only reason why I don't think he's uh, good casting for Wesker. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Chris. Get, up, get the fucking lead out. So everything's taken care of? Yes, everything's fine, Chris. Now let's get the hell out of here. I even made you a Jill sandwich. Let's go. Don't know where Chris got his gun from? Doesn't matter. It's Resident Evil. Just embrace it. Another thing that came to mind there, I love when you completed the original Resident Evil as Chris and it gave you this tagline at the end saying, what a tough guy. <laughs> There's nothing more 90s than that. <laughs> You're such a tough guy. Yeah, Nyog says, how does he have a gun? Don't know. I mean, 
mean, maybe Jill gave him one. She had one secreted away somewhere. Don't know where. Don't care to know. Oh, do you really think I'm going to waste time on you? Mr. Brown Alliance is heading out. Thank you, man. I appreciate your moderation on this. I don't imagine this is going to go on too much longer. Because we're almost done. So, I've got a shit ton of medical stuff here. Uh, the only thing I need is an ink ribbon to save my game. Just in case, it all goes Pete Tong. There we go. Marchiton says, "What was Drinker, what was your opinion of the Crimson Head mechanic? I thought it was great. Um, it, it just adds a nice little... Um, what can I say? A, a nice little um, extra element to the Resident Evil formula, you know? Because it would have been quite easy to just do a straight-up remake of the original game just with the, the same inventory on, management, on, like the same, the same strategy and everything, but they, they brought this in. And uh, it's just something, something extra that you have to consider. Like the crimson heads are not unstoppable or anything. Um, damn, it's a lot of stuff. But uh, they, they are a drain on your ammo, and you've got the option, of course, to burn them if you want to. You can't burn all of them. There's not enough kerosene for that. Um, yeah, so it, it encourages you again to plan your strategy a little bit better and just consider that, uh, yep, yeah, any zombies that you. Oh, I need that. Any zombies that you down um, could potentially come back as as uh, Crimson Heads. So, yeah, I quite like it. Someone else just says, What's your opinion on Pringles? The, the crisps, not the jumpers. I love Pringles, they are great stuff. Once you pop, you can't stop and all that. Damn it! We're almost there! Nicholas Stewart says, chilling on a Sunday with my fiance and my favorite YouTuber. Thanks for another great video. <laughs> Thanks, man. I hope you get a little bit of entertainment out of this finale here. have my moments too. Alright. We'll rendezvous at the heliport. Alright. Let's do this. It's the final countdown. Yeah, someone's talking about the sour, pre sour cream Pringles. I'm, I'm barbecue beef myself. Those are fucking great. I will take the signal rockets. Let's deploy these motherfuckers. Anonymous says, what's your favorite Resident Evil? I mean, I think it might actually be this, by the way. It's so fucking good. Hmm? Resident Evil 2, the original, was great as well, and the remake. Max Bolton says, oh, Puffy, does No Way Home still you hold up it. to you? Yeah, I think it's still good. Still a good movie. As good as those, like, Marvel cape shit movies can be. <laughs> oh no, Chris! If he was a boulder, you could have punched the shit out of him. Cheddar cheese Pringles from conservative guy, they ain't bad. That is true. Oh, that's a bad sound. That's not what you want to hear when you're a gun owner. You used to be able to dodge him. I don't know if you still can, to be honest with you. Oh, these camera angles, they're fantastic. Ah, damn it. Missed him. Oh. He hits hard, this son of a bitch.
All right, let's reload and. Well, what could this be? Shit, where is it? Oh yeah, there it is. I remember as a, a kid playing this, right, and uh, trying to desperately bring that rocket launcher up to aim, uh, and just um, trying to hoping that my aim was good. But all right, let's see if we can end this, shall we? You lose, big guy. <laughs> You're an Amazon, Jill! <laughs> yeah, Ryu says, will you take the rocket launcher? Someone out there said no, I guarantee you. <laughs> Same kind of person that says, like, this key is useless now, will you discard? No, I'm gonna keep it. There it goes, the Spencer Mansion. Yep, not gonna lie, Chris, you were pretty useless on this adventure. This is gonna come up when you two argue in future years. <laughs> As close drinker, you were almost a Jill sandwich. Ah, uh, there we go. Gosh, wasn't that fun? I, I feel like a sense of emotional completeness now that we got to the end of that. That was a, a wonderful game. It's been an adventure, and you guys have been with me every step of the way. Through all the fuck-ups and all the, the puzzles that I didn't understand. <laughs> and all the zombies that I missed. <laughs> No, that's been great. Uh, I'm just I'm looking at the chat as it goes by. Um, yeah, someone's saying as after this, Chris starts eating bowls of steroids without milk. He really does. He's got to get that boulder punching physique in place. Uh, Multi Drider says, I agree. Sorry, you agree the canon scenario is Jill's main game combined with Chrissy's getting in mansion, meeting Rebecca, and then captured by Wesker. Yeah, I wish there was a way to, like, um, rationalize all the different scenarios here because obviously Rebecca doesn't appear in this one, Barry doesn't appear in Chrissy's one um, but they, they both survive ultimately so I'd love to know what the actual rationalized scenario is for all of this um, but yeah, that, that was Resident Evil the remake what a fantastic game Just to see what else we got here. Uh, yeah, Jacob Gruber says, got to see this live just at the end of the game. <laughs> yeah, sorry, man. But don't worry, I'll re upload this to my second channel so you'll be able to see all of it um, and enjoy every moment, I guess. Yeah, HC21 says, Canon means nothing to today's producers. That is very fucking true, my friend. And that's it, Jill, presented by Kepka. Thank you. I killed 77 creatures, I used 202 rounds of ammo, 23 ink ribbons. Didn't think I saved that many times. 19 health items, and it took me 7 hours. So that is not exactly a speed run right there, but, uh, well, there you go. Got a new closet key. Get Jill out of the closet. Uh, right, okay. I'll write that, whatever. Alright, well, I believe we're finished there. You wonderful people, the next time I do a gaming stream... Oh, I'll, I'll wait until this is... I'm never sure if people can hear me when this, uh, when this goes through. Sometimes it takes people out of it. But yes! So, next time you see me doing a gaming stream, it'll probably be Modern Warfare 2, because I want to give it, that a little try. Um, but yeah, for now at least, I guess that's all I've got for this evening. So, I'm going to say to all of you, thank you, and 
go away now. <laughs>